Well, that is the French group out of France. Uh, they just won a major TV show competition. And you can find that song. It's Demons, uh, the name of the group. It's Patsy. You can find it uh, and you can buy this track on uh, Bandcamp, iTunes, Spotify, and a lot of other uh, apps. Great song. I really enjoy it. Normally, I don't play a song. Uh, that people request, but this one kind of really fit the the paranormal. In the news, uh, the VA, well, is just 
disregarding what the U.S. Congress is asking them not to do. They want to experiment on dogs. But the thing is, it's going to be a fatal, well, experiments. That means the dogs will be deceased when they're done doing their experiments. I thought we went away with that a long time ago. Well, the Army wants bigger and bolder and harder-hitting bullets. More hitting power. NASA today just said that the New Horizons is going to be the very first, if anything, to show a close-up pictures of a distant solar system. And there's a rogue planet floating around out there uh, in our universe, uh, in our solar system. You know, they said that... uh, You know, maybe that's why some of the planets are kind of staggered the way they are. Maybe years and years ago, many moons ago, a rogue planet maybe plowed through. Now, this one here is about the sixth of the size of the sun. So that's pretty good size. Uh, You know, they said, don't worry, it could not hit Earth for at least one point some million years. So you don't have to worry about that happening yet. Ah, Well, that's good to know. I hope everybody's having a good day. The week is, well, starting to wind down. Uh, The weather here at the harbor, well, it was kind of, well, it wasn't raining. A little bit of sprinkles today. But, boy, I kind of miss uh, that nice weather we had. I don't know about where you're at, but, you know, earth changes. A little bit of wobble to the earth. The magnetic field uh, moving on. Uh, You know, now it's almost like a a daily thing. When uh, airline pilots get in their plane, they have to readjust uh, everything to make you know uh for the land at the right place otherwise they might go to land at the airport and they might be off a mile or two i don't know things are going and you know they keep denying it but uh i don't know i mean antarctica is breaking up i think we got our guest right here calling in i was kind of stalling if you didn't notice let's we'll see hi troy hi gary Okay, if I can just get you a hold on for a second, I'm doing a little bit of the news, and then we'll be right with you. So, you know, okay. the, you know, the, with earth changes going on, you know, they're, they're saying now the problem is, you know, like half of the world's species of wildlife are gone. And they, you know, they're blaming it on, well, over logging the trees, uh, Amazon and all that stuff, taking them out. Uh, it, it, right now, I mean, not just that, our air quality is starting to dip a little bit. You can't keep removing all these trees, you know, to make room for whatever they're doing, uh, you know, in the Amazon. Uh, it's, it's, it's scary, you know. And uh, as the temperatures, they they were shocked in the news yesterday. They were saying the temperatures in the oceans were about two degrees warmer than they thought it should be. So, I mean, things are starting to heat up. So, I mean, I don't know. You know, and then some parts of the Antarctica around there, the ocean is naturally getting colder. Anyway, we'll be right on after this with Troy. You're listening to my friend Gary Anderson on My Dreams Talk Radio, the best in paranormal radio. Please check out the Night Dreams Talk Radio website at www.nightdreamstalkradio.com. Also, if you want to keep our show free of advertising, just hit the donate button. Give a buck or two. Remember, all prior shows are always free to listen to. We at Night Dreams Talk Radio thank you for your support. Well, Troy, how was the traffic today driving home? Um, not great. I mean, there was some slow traffic, but I made it. No, oh, how far? How far do you have to travel each day? I take it you must be out on the freeway uh, coming home. I am in actually my girlfriend's house right now. It's quiet. Nobody's here, so I can do the show here with no interruptions. Well, that that helps quite a bit. So why don't you tell a little bit uh, about yourself to the listeners? I mean, what uh, college or community college did you go to? And how did you, after that, I got to ask you a question. How did you ever hook up with with, uh, Michael W. Hall and the uh, UFO I-Team? Yes, that is a great story. So I am a graduate from the Evergreen State College from June of this year. Um, I was there for four years. I graduated with a Bachelor's of Arts in Indigenous Cultural Studies. 
with some visual arts in there too. Um, really for many years, probably seven or more years, I've been interested in, well, UFOs and paranormal things as well as other subjects. I've been listening to Coast to Coast for a long time, since I was about 15. I started with different kinds of studies fairly early, I think, in my life, but all throughout my high school and college education, I was interested in and curious, just curious to learn how things work. Now, I got to ask you a real question, so, a real quick question here. You will find I'm very bad at interrupting, but that's what I'm supposed to do as a host here. Uh, you mentioned coast to coast, Troy. Now, I, I take it yeah. that you, you never, you weren't probably old enough then to count to uh, my my friend who passed on Art Bell when he used to do it. He's the one that originally started that whole thing. Yeah, I'm aware of Art and his unfortunate passing earlier this year. Um, yeah, I wasn't old enough to listen while he was doing the show, but I have heard a few of his shows. Well, you know, one thing, if it wasn't for art, let's, let's be honest out here for most of the people, we wouldn't have paranormal that has gone the way it has. We wouldn't be talking about UFOs like we do. We wouldn't be talking about all the strange things in the paranormal. I mean, Art Bell, you know, uh, made that happen. And I don't know if you knew how it happened, but one day, you know, Art was done doing his show. It was a typical, you know, politic, uh, you know, what's going on type of show he was doing out of out of um, Las Vegas. And his friend came in, uh, uh, Lear, uh, and uh, and Lear uh, mentioned, you know, the son of Lear Jets mentioned to him that, uh, well, you know, have you thought about doing this, talking about UFOs? And talking about the paranormal. And it really hit Art really hard. And, you know, Art the next day goes up to the station manager and goes, you know what? I want to do this. And they tried it. And it was an instant hit. That's a great story. Oh, yeah. I miss him. I mean, you know, we weren't great friends, but we would communicate off and on. He's the one, you know, I was retired uh, I it started in broadcasting in 76. I got out of it for a long period of time, then back into it, out of it, into it. Because it's the type of job, you know, it's not the most secure job in the world. But I was retired. And, you know, like about 14, 15 months ago, I get a phone call out of the blue from Art. And he says, sell your motorcycles. You're too old to ride. Get back on the radio. And I said, you know what? I don't think a radio station would hire me at my age to, you know, talk about the paranormal and all that stuff. He goes, no. Do it on the internet. So here I am. Now, we'll we'll talk about you. Okay. I would like to quickly finish how I met Michael W. Hall. Um, I, after I graduated from Evergreen, I, reached, I was looking for careers and jobs, so I reached out to a um, lady named Una Drake. She, for many years, has been the director of the Seattle UFO Network, Sufan, and I reached out to her hoping to get involved in that. She had stepped back, but now I'm learning how to be some of the newer management. Um, they weren't having meetings frequently when I reached out to her, but she recommended I also go to the UFO I team, which meets every, it's um, Mondays now, every week in a Denny's in Linwood. So I checked that out. Michael W. Hall is, of course, the paranormal lawyer and the leader of the UFOI team. So I happened to walk in on that and sit down in one of their live broadcast meetings on Facebook. Um, they were talking about their upcoming trip to Mount Baker at the time. 